So one of the questions that comes up every now and again on the MarkEdit listserv has to do with file associations. By default, MarkEdit installs file types, file associations for the file extensions of .mrc, .mrk, and .mrk8. These file associations act as shortcuts to the MarkEdit application and associate those specific file types with specific actions. For users working with other applications that may export MARC data, binary MARC data, using other file extensions, for example, Innovative's export tools, which utilize a, a dot .out file extension, or OCLC's uh, connection, which defaults to a dot .bat, uh, there might be a, a desire to associate those file extensions with the MARC edit application so that those file extensions can be clicked on and um, essentially be run just like a, a normal .mrc or a .mrk file. So generally in Windows, the way you would do this, you'd right click on the file and you would associate it with an open with. Uh, that doesn't really work in MarkEdit, partially because MarkEdit's associating uh, particular file types with actions. So MarkEdit's provided a, uh, a tool to be able to uh, associate file uh, extensions with particular actions within the program. Uh, you do this by going to uh, Tools and Preferences, and in the Preferences window, uh, you go to the File Associations tab. So by default, MarkEdit will black out the three file associations on the top. Those are file associations that are set, uh, extensions that are set during the installation program. Uh, in order to modify the, uh, those, um, those file associations, uh, you actually have to be running MarkEdit as an administrator. Uh, I'm not in this case. However, there's a secondary set of tools here that allow you to associate specific file types with um, uh, specific actions, particularly the Mark Breaker, the Mark Maker, or the Mark Editor. Um, and these are actually done at the user level. So you don't have to actually be logged as an administrator in order to use this particular tool. And what this means is MarkEdit will associate these file extensions for the logged in user. So if I was using a computer where two different sets of users logged into the machine, one set of users could have file extensions that were associated with MarkEdit, and the other user might not. Uh, so they're at a, at a user profile level. So what I'm going to do is I have a file here on my machine. Uh, it's a .out file. You can see it right here. This is a file extension that's associated with uh, uh, our innovative system. So what I want to do is I want to associate that file uh, with MarkEdit. And I'd like that file to open with the Mark Breaker. So what I'll do is I'll give it the file extension here, so .out. I'll tell it that I want to associate with the Mark Breaker, Breaker, and I will save that type. And I will tell it yes, and you'll see that the icon changes to this .m. Um, it's uh, kind of the generic uh, file extension MarkEdit uses, and I can now click on it, and it'll open Mark, it'll open that file into the Mark Tools window and associate it with the Mark Breaker. So all I have to do now is just hit Execute, and it translates that file for me. So um, very easily, I've been able to associate that value. I can see all the specific file associations that I've done using this particular tool. If I click on View Types, MarkEdit opens up a window that shows which file associations have been saved using this particular method. Um, I can delete a specific file type, so if I didn't want that .out file to be there any longer, um, I could just enter in the .out and hit Delete Type, and you'll see that the icon disappears and MarkEdit no longer is associated with that particular file type. If I click on it, uh, Windows no longer knows what to do with that particular extension. So this is an easy way to be able to associate files um, that might come to your system uh, that are uh, that are different uh, than MarkEdit's traditional .mrc, .mrk, or .mrk8. One word of caution. Um, OCLC's connection, for example, uses a .dat. Uh, in Windows Ease, a .dat file is a data file. Um, not all data files are going to be MARC files, and, and actually the, the operating system makes use of a number of data files. Uh, changing the association to MarkEdit 
uh, probably won't have any issues, but you need to be aware that there could actually be unintended issues if, for example, that extension is associated with another program already. So if you're going to be working with, uh, if you're going to be changing file associations, even at a user profile level, you need to have a, you need to make sure that the that particular extension isn't already reserved for something within the operating system. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, contact the Marketer Listserv.